Crosses. You could say a staple to the game that we all love to call football. Crosses are more often than not necessary to scoring goals and even the more important ones. Do not scratch your eyes. What I'll say about crosses in FIFA 23 is they're back. And I know that a lot of people on this channel have had troubles trying to defend against crosses in FIFA 23. It's had like one shot. One. Well, there's a specific technique that you guys need to start doing to defend these and stop yourself from conceding these goals. This is how to defend against crosses and not concede anymore in FIFA 23. We have two types of crosses. There's the spam crosser, but then there's also the crosser with purpose. A lot of the time, especially if you're in the higher ranks, a crosser with purpose is someone that you need to watch out for because if they know what they're doing, they will know what times will be a good time to cross. And usually, and I haven't done a tutorial on this on how to score crosses, but maybe there could be one coming. Just smash the like button. Maybe it could come in the next few days. Who knows? But I will say is usually a good time to cross is you'll notice the attacker is in between two defenders. He's not being marked, but he's more in between them. Of course, if they know what they're doing, they will know how much power to put on the cross to actually reach that attacker. And you guys need to spot this. If there is a defender away from the attacker and the attacker you notice is sitting in the hole, that's a very good indication for your opponent to cross if he knows what he's doing. And it's a good indication that you guys need to defend against it. And the way you defend against it is you need to select the defender who is closest to the player about to receive the cross to defend that away. Here's, I mean, a pretty good example from the weekend league of me doing exactly that. Oh, he's crossing. Read it too. You can tell from the example that in general, I saw there was a crossing opportunity into the attacker. He was free in between the defenders and I needed to drag a defender across to prevent the cross from coming in. And as it came in, I was able to clear the ball. And that's another tip for you guys. When you are clearing crosses, I highly recommend not passing. You need to press the clear button. Just of course circle on PS5 or B on Xbox and that will allow you guys to clear the ball from the danger area as the ball is crossed in. Because as I've found, if you press pass, the animation is never in your favor. You need to improve the animation of the defender to help you clear the ball the best he can by pressing the clear button and he will do everything in his power to clear the ball as sufficiently as he can. But that's how I defend crosses in FIFA and it's a pretty good way of doing so. I'm pretty sure most pros do this technique as well, so I'm not alone in that factor. But if you enjoyed this, smash the like button and I think 70% of you guys haven't subscribed that are watching, so be sure to do so if you haven't. I'm doing tutorials year in, year out, also the No Money Spent series, so keep in touch with that. I'm also coaching one-on-one -on -one if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, but and that will be in the link down in the description. But uh, as always, hope you have a good day. I'm out. Sign up. Au revoir. Adios. Salam. Ciao. Goodbye.